Hey climbers, Alex here. Professional model and climber Lisa Chilich will be breaking down her favorite core exercises, how to get into them, how to do them correctly. At the end of the video and in the description below, there's a link to a progression that she designed from beginner to intermediate and to advanced, utilizing the exercises that she broke down in this video. I'll have her take it away. Hey, my name is Lisa Chulich. I'm a Pacific Northwest native, originally a competitive gymnast, and then transitioned into beach volleyball and rock climbing. So there are tons of videos out there on YouTube you can search how to get this beach bod, but I'm pushing myself as an athlete, not just a look-alike. So we've put together a core video series that'll help you get legit climbing strong. Starting out, you always want to make sure that your back is pressed to the ground, you're pushing your belly button down through your spine. This is taught in gymnastics as the hollow body position where you want to be making sure your hands can't go underneath your back. Oftentimes you'll see people here and they arch up once their core gets tired. At this point, my core is still slightly activated, but I don't have any pressure through my feet. We want to avoid this arch position and to gain that strength, first we're gonna start with legs up. At 90 degrees, if you're not flexible enough for this, it is okay to bend your legs. The main thing we're focusing on is pushing your belly button down to our spine. Then once you're there, straighten your legs as you lower and continue to lower until you feel your back arch up. Once this happens, push your stomach, push your belly button down through your spine again. If you can't with your legs that low, raise your legs higher until you're able to hold this position. So kind of play at that uh, threshold as to where you're just about to arch up but don't. Eventually you want to progress to the point to where you can have your feet all the way down either four to six inches above with no space underneath your back. So that's something we want to focus on throughout all core exercises, keeping your belly button pressed to your spine. The next exercise that we're going to go over is bicycles. You've seen this done so many times. Here just going as fast as you can. Huge issue I have with that as a climber is you're training your body to cut your feet or forget about your feet as soon as you start using another part of your body. In the fast example, as soon as you start to move, your foot comes off the hold and then you're twisting. Whereas if we are going through these motions as if we were on, say, a roof climb, you'd have both your feet on the wall and then you would bring one foot up, keeping tension on this foothold to do the twist. Then you match feet and then twist the other way. Match feet, twist the other way. Always keeping tension on the extended leg. So starting out, we're gonna remember about keeping back flat. You'll lower down until you feel your back want to arch. Keep pressure on your entire back to be able to send pressure through to your feet. Twist, keeping the tension, match feet, and then go. Here, you can go fast, making sure that you stay extended, or you can go slow. Both work different beneficial ways. This next exercise I call suitcase and it's a great one to build the basic movement and then you can add on lots of variations and advancements with it. To begin, we want to start in the hollow body hold and then from here, keeping your, your shins parallel to the ground, come up and tap your feet and back down. So this is the suitcase the entire time still focusing on bringing your belly button back towards your spine as opposed to like arching up as you come up. You want to keep this hollow and this deep core work. From there, once you're able to do those, the next thing to work on is twisting through and adding in some more of the upper abs, be able to reach through. Then finally, the harder version would be straight legs, which is more of a V up. Nice, Alana. Yeah! yeah. Nice! It's my favorite when we add on the weights. The challenge is to do these motions balancing the, the weight on your ankles. So you can start out in low position and then to begin you just rise up and go back down. And then from there 
you can twist and come back down. If you're not keeping tension in your feet, the weight's gonna fall off. If the weight falls, make yourself start over so that you're really working on keeping the tension the entire time. My name's Alex, and thanks for watching. My goal here is to empower the future generation of climber, you, with the knowledge on how to train yourself. And I'm trying to keep everything for free, <laughs> but I need your help. Hit the subscribe button or share these videos with your friends and your local climbing gym. That way I can try and get even more pro climbers to share their training knowledge with you all in one place. Thanks again for watching. 